lot of information out there, but here to help us get down to the bottom of it is Karen Dugan, the STL Veg Girl with the Center for Plant-Based Living, alongside of Dr. Jim Loomis. He is the medical director there. Guys, thank you all so much for being here yeah, with us today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Oh, yeah, this course. is great. This is great. I, this is great. And the hot topic today is soy. Doc, are we going with, yes, this is good for you, or are we kind of going with that old school of thought with, no, the soy is bad, really stay away from it? Well, you know, in many ways, soy is actually almost a superfood. Um, you know, one of the big concerns people have is around breast cancer because soy does, in fact, have a compound that are considered, they're called phytoestrogens, so phytoplant estrogens. So they mimic the estrogens that our bodies normally make. And we know that breast cancer risk is associated with Oh, lifelong kind of overexposure to estrogen. And so what happens is when we consume soy, it actually binds weakly to the estrogen receptor and blocks the effect of estrogen. Mm. And so there's lots of research that suggests that soy consumption is, is, is associated with decreased risk of breast cancer. If you've had breast cancer, a decreased risk of recurrence. The earlier in life that you start eating soy, the, the greater that benefit. But soy has a lot of other great health benefits. What are some of those benefits, right. So it's very high in fiber. It's been shown to lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, lower blood sugar, decrease your risk for heart disease. It's important for bone health. It's been shown to prevent um, uh, osteoporosis. Um, in men, significant reduction in prostate cancer wow. risk. So, you know, it's good for your skin. Uh, and so we on want, we and want on. That exactly, skin. exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so it, it helps boost collagen, yeah. right? Yes, exactly. And, and people are taking collagen supplements. No need for right. that. Just, Just go ahead and add some soy right. to yeah. your to your diet, really. And there are a lot of different forms of soy that it actually comes in. You've brought in a few different items and recipes that we can actually make to kind of kickstart adding yeah. those that soy to our to our diets. What have you brought in, Karen? Okay, so we don't want you to go for the overly processed That's soy, right. okay? And That's these right. are these are the, some of the the recommendations that that we really enjoy. So this is edamame. Which I love. I'm I love edamame, edamame too. It's just so clean, full of lots of protein, by the way. Right. And so we made a cowboy caviar here, which is always nice to have in the fridge, just you know, quick bites. Um, What's inside of this cowboy caviar? So we have chickpeas, bell peppers, a little bit of cilantro, black beans, um, corn, and Jalapeno. some red onion. Yeah, jalapeno. And it jalapeno. smells yeah. amazing. Oh, and there's a really great little marinade in there to pull it all together. It's right. fantastic. Um, we also recommend tofu, both silken tofu and regular tofu. Now, this tofu right here, I've made a mayo. Ooh, yummy. And then used another form of, um, of soy, which is tempeh. And I know this is not very sexy. I get <laughs> it. But it's good, though. <laughs> but it's, it's a fermented soy product. Right. And so what I've done is cut it up and marinated it in... Um, a, like a bacon marinade. Oh, yummy. So this is a tomato, lettuce, tempeh with the mayo. So on instead of a BLT, yeah, we exactly. have a, a TLT. Exactly. I love that. Exactly. And my, my first experience with tempeh was tempeh bacon, and it is, it's pretty good. And it's pretty really, good. really easy. Right. Really easy. And then this one is just skewered up tofu um, so that I've did, I did in the air fryer, and it's, mm -hmm. so it's curry and then oh, a little delicious. bit of. Um, of pineapple and then a peanut oh, look sauce. Look at that drizzle. Yeah, yeah girl. girl. That glaze is beautiful. And really, I'm smelling all of these different flavors. If you're at home and you're watching and you your ears have kind of perked up, you're interested in hopping on the soy train or even really plant-based living, you do cooking classes and you have one coming up tomorrow as well, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow night, night, both right. of us are teaching us everything you wanted to know about soy. And we're making all three of these dishes. And of course, you'll taste them. Oh, I love that. And Dr. Loomis, thanks again for being so much here with us. You're the medical director. What does it mean to be able to work alongside of Karen? Just continue to educate the greater St. Louis area. Well, you know, my, my job as a physician is to help people, you know, heal their health and be healthy. And, and culinary literacy is one thing that we lack. We lack, we don't teach it in schools, and people lack a basic understanding about food is. And so having Karen, working with Karen, she does such an amazing job of taking these, these are, I mean, 
you're, you, tomorrow night we're going to teach you how to make these recipes. They're so simple but so flavorful, and they're accessible to really anybody. And, and, and so it's really been a privilege to work with her and, as we get that message out and teach people really the fundamental importance of food in, in our health because food is medicine. Food is medicine, and you can continue to learn how food can heal your body from the inside out with the Center for Plant-Based Living. Karen, the STL Veg Girl, alongside of Dr. Jim Loomis, they are teaching that class tomorrow. We'll make sure you all have access to all that information on our website at studiostl.tv. Don't forget, we also post everything online on our website, and you can also show us some love on both Facebook and on Instagram. That handle is at Inside Studio STL. So go ahead, take out your phones, give us a follow, show us some love, and while you're doing that, we're going to get you up to date and caught up on our news headlines. We're going to send things inside to the studio with news anchor Dan Graham.